to increase their appetite for wieners. We need some Okay, wow. <laughs> Something that would make Mr. Krabs whole wiener thing blow up in his face. Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out some dark humor, adult jokes that were in SpongeBob SquarePants, the cartoon. Yes, a lot of jokes or uh, went over your head as a kid. A lot of the jokes, you missed it. You didn't really know what they were hinting at. You didn't really get the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah! I'm having a total brain fart right now. I'm probably gonna remember the word I'm looking for then in this video. But yeah, dark humor and SpongeBob. I'm gonna be de dissecting or dissecting all of the scenes or some scenes to show you which joke landed where, and I'll kind of explain some jokes if it still went over your head, because if it went over your head once, it may go over your head again. But don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Prince O'Hawkum, Instagram as well at Prince O'Hawkum, that way you stay updated on anything Prince Charming related, and so you can support your boy on social media. So go drop a follow right now. All right, guys, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and dive in to the SpongeBob compilation. We're checking out some dark humor. If y'all like this video, you know, maybe it'll be a part two, but y'all gotta like this video first. So let's go ahead and check out some jokes of Spongebob that went over your head as a kid. It's that time of the month. It's that time of the month. Sorry, Sandy. It's a red blimp. Y'all saw that? Uh, go get my hair cut. Spongebob doesn't have hair? Not on his head. Does he? Oh, gosh. <laughs> and what was Spongebob watching? What was he watching? What is this? You see how he gets all close? <laughs> And then he changes the channel. Uh, I was just looking for this part. <laughs> what were you watching, SpongeBob? All over town. Well, not all of me. Excuse oh, me. Oh wow. <laughs> is it the homework pencil on the left side of the paper? Or I think it goes stuck inside your. Wait, I got it. Oh, she was she was not playing. <laughs> happy. Oh, this is kind of dark. Oh, that's. Maybe this will help. Oh, this is really dark. Oh, come on. That's it. Did they really show that? Your genius is showing. <laughs> Alright, so far we've already been thrown into so many jokes and like they're, they're happening so quick so I can't really explain every each and every one. I'm not trying to pause it after each joke because then I'll pause it a grand total of 20 times and I know y'all hate it when I pause videos. <laughs> Alright, the first one was like, Squirrel was like that time of the month and then uh, Mr. Crab was like, oh sweet Neptune and you saw like a red blimp coming. Yeah, that time of the month it applies to girls, you know, when they get the little visitor of the month or period. Like, come on, we're adults or we should know about this by now. And then Spongebob, for all we know, he doesn't have hair on his head. He could have it in a different place because Sandy, you know, she, who, who's to say she has seen Spongebob's area? You know, maybe he shaved it one day and that was the one time she did see him without pants. Or maybe he just doesn't show her. Maybe he has a bush down there and he really does have to get a haircut. And lastly, Spongebob, what were you watching on TV? I I know what you were watching. Ain't no guy in the world gonna get closer to their screen like this with their buck teeth. And then when someone else walks in the room, they hurriedly change it in a panic. Like, Spongebob, what were you viewing? This calls for extreme measures. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, hello. Look at you see his nose bye, coming Mr. up with yeah. Krabs. Bye, Squidward. You said bye, Squidward twice. So weird. I like Squidward. So weird. I'm ugly and I'm proud. <laughs> yeah. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Louder. What he calls it. I'm ugly and I'm proud. <laughs> I didn't get that one though. I feel like I'm uh, uh, an ass. Jerk. Just hello. say it. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? Okay. Oh, He's being game. In that case, can I get a large pepperoni pizza, extra cheese? Murray Man was being game. Yo, mama. For a small fee of fourteen ninety eight per person, everyone will get the opportunity to touch Squidward. I remember handsome Squidward, bro. For oh, he was being charged to touch Squidward. Okay. 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 So much to talk about. I don't think you can be the mom, Patrick, because you never wear a shirt. You're right. If I was a mom, Ugh. this would be kind of short. Yeah, put a bra on, dude. Nobody wants to Just see that. Call me daddy. It only <laughs> seem to increase their appetite for wieners. We need some Okay, wow. <laughs> Something that would make Mr. Krabs whole wiener thing blow up in his face. Yo, you cannot tell me that that was an accident. 
the writers purposely put that in the script. You're not going to convince me otherwise. All right, I definitely missed the handsome Squidward joke where Mr. Krabs was like, uh, I'll charge everyone $14.98 to touch Squidward. Like, doesn't that sound a little familiar to y'all getting paid to perform a service? You know, even if it's just touching, you're still paying to get a service performed on you, so... I didn't know Squidward was about that life. And then, yeah, a sponge and a starfish shouldn't equal a clam. And Patrick, you can't be the mom. Um, I don't know about y'all, but if I saw a girl that was a bit like Patrick, shirtless and everything, I would probably want to be off the streets. I'll stay inside the door, in my house, lock the doors, you know, call the police probably, or animal control, that'll probably be better. <laughs> oh gosh, that was so mean. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me. He just... Oh, come on! Come on! I guess you're gonna miss the panty raid. I knew... Panty I caught this one. You're talking about girls, mm -hmm. right? Girl, girls? Girl, girls. Yeah. And you're talking about raiding their dressers for their under... They showed up to right? Mr. Krabs' mom's crib. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Out of all the girls. <laughs> We're petty professionals. They've been hitting Mr. Krabs' mom. All the, all the time, too. <laughs> really thick. What is wrong with them, bro? The <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. They've been coming into his mom's crib. 13 bad words you should never use. All right, let's hear them. Don't you mean they're only seven? Not if you're a sailor. Okay, Mr. Krabs, what you know? And the birthday cake? Sorry about the scabs. Uh, <laughs> you like ponies! I like ponies! Is that a wedding ring? Oh, you're married. Oh, this oh nope. Nothing. Caught cheating. <laughs> Wait, that, that's not that. It's a... Uh, 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 foam. Amazing detail! Perfect censorship! Why were you looking at that? Like that? Ugh. Ugh, what's going on between them? <laughs> well, how's that tan coming? I don't know. Let me check. Okay. Looking good. How's yours? Just a minute. Wait, what was where was SpongeBob's? Okay, yo, yo, yo. Like, no, no, no. Where was SpongeBob's? I, I I'm not trying to see it. I'm just worried for him. You know. <laughs> All right. So the birthday cake. It was like sorry for the scabs. I'm guessing scabs is like you know gonorrhea, like the clap or her. No, probably not herpes. You don't give a cake for herpes. Like herpes is permanent. You know, you give them money or something. <laughs> like, I think that just represents the clap. And personally, I think a phone call with an apology is plain enough. Like, you don't have to get them a whole cake to keep bringing up again and again and again. Like, y'all are both probably embarrassed. She probably hates you. Just get it out of the way. And man, oh man, I really can't get over the fact that SpongeBob and Patrick continuously hit up Mr. Krabs' mom's crib for her panties. Like, Y'all don't go to anybody else's house for your pain rate. It's always Mama Krabs. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, Mr. Krabs, thick. Ooh, where you get all that booty from? Hey there, boy. Relax. I get almost taste. What you gotta win? Uh, don't lick my ear. Boy, crime fighting sure makes me hungry. That's so weird. Look, the balloons. <laughs> Don't drop them. Oh. Oh, Mr. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mr. Krabs! Oh my gosh, Mr. Krabs! That probably smells you know so bad. A very dirty like Doritos and Funyuns. Lovely day we're having, isn't it? Why, yes, it is, SpongeBob. <laughs> this day is particularly lovely. How great you are, Patrick! I love the fact that this all happened because SpongeBob found writing on a trash can that basically was were curse words and then he just started saying them. Like, how old are you, SpongeBob? Like, how have you went your whole life without knowing any curse words? He's 24, 25, right? This man is not a little kid. Even then, little kids these days, their vocabulary, like the stuff that they know, like goodness gracious. The internet really is a dangerous thing for a kid, bro. You have unlimited access to damn near anything you want, bro. At the, at the, at the uh, the, the tip of your fingers, because we all have electronic devices, phones, iPhones, iPads, so really, they can find anything, learn anything, get anything they want, if they try, like, gosh. Well, I guess I don't need this disguise anymore. Oh, what are you about to do? Ah, didn't need to see that. Um, <laughs> no! Don't bring me dollars! 
<laughs> and they're butt naked. Well, well, well. Okay, Patrick. Oh, no, Patrick. No, Patrick. I did not need to see that, Patrick. Give me lots of money. Bye, Squidward. Bye, Mr. Krabs. Bye, Squidward. Again? We're seeing this again? I like Squidward. Ah, nagging Neptune. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. What? That was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh my goodness gracious, I did not know there were so many, so much dark jokes and humor in SpongeBob that I missed out on the kids. Like, half of these I uh, remember and I got, and the rest of the half, like, they're new to me. Oh my gosh. And there's more. There's definitely more. So if you want a part two, I can make a part two. If you want a part three, I can make a part three. If you want a part four, I don't know if I can make a part four, but I'll, I'll, I'll find a way to make a part four. <laughs> oh, SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, Patrick, all of y'all, like, wow. Y'all just... <laughs> Y'all just were carrying on all these years, telling these jokes. Spongebob literally blew up. Y'all remember those balloons he was blowing up? That wasn't a balloon. He gave a cake that said, sorry for the scabs. Like, so many jokes that went over my head. head. This might as well be a Bo Bojack Horseman episode. But don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Prince of Hawkum, Instagram as well, at Prince of Hawkum. That way you can stay updated on anything Prince Charming related, and so you can support your boy on social media. So make sure you go drop a follow right now. But that was it for this video, guys. My name is Prince of Hawkum. Stay charmed, my friends.